the gospel reflection of the day from the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Shalom and welcome to the Gospel Reflection of today. It is Wednesday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time, the 12th day in the month of June 2024. Our theme for reflection today is Going Beyond the Law. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 5 verse 17 to 19. At that time Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, Till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so shall be called a least in the kingdom of heaven. But he who does them and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven of heaven the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ beloved in christ jesus we celebrate day in day out god's absolute love for humanity we are not where we are by mistake believe me you And that's why today's gospel tells us that uh, the law and the prophets are still to be obeyed because Christ did not come to abolish them, but to complete them, for they contained some inaccuracies which had crept in over the years. It is not enough to observe the mere letter of the law, but also the broader interpretations of the same law. We are therefore called on to be like Elijah and to stand up for God in the midst of adversity and to obey the law and the teachings in all things. Remember, through original sin, human nature lost the state of sanctity to which it had been raised by God. And as a consequence, as a result, it was also deprived of the integrity an interior order that it had once possessed. Since the first sin was committed, man has lacked the strength of will that would enable him to fulfill all the moral precepts that are known to him. After sin made its appearance on earth, doing good became something very difficult, and we all struggle to do good, believe me, you because within us we are divided and as a result the whole life of all people both individually and socially shows itself to be a struggle and a dramatic one between good and evil between light and darkness you know all these kind of contradictions you want to do good you find yourself doing bad So Jesus assures us that he isn't here to dismantle the foundation of faith, but to elevate it. Just as a parent guides a child beyond basic rules to a deeper understanding, Jesus calls us to move from simply following the letter of the law to living its spirit. It is totally a different reality. Uh, Let's just give it an example. Imagine a child who memorizes the Ten Commandments, but still takes, you know, those commandments for granted without understanding what each of them really means. 
it doesn't mean just a child any of us you and i could be among these people who take the word of god for granted or the commandments and say no he was able to do this because but i couldn't because you know jesus wants us to grow in that empathy to embody the law the law's true purpose love for god and neighbor period perhaps it's the difference between grudgingly helping a coworker and genuinely celebrating their success or between fulfilling a religious obligation out of habit and approaching it with a grateful heart may we dear uh, friend may we all strive to fulfill the law spirit in our daily lives growing in love and becoming beacons of Christ's message dear lord open our hearts to the deeper meaning of your teachings help us translate them into actions that reflect your love for all for always love speaks louder than words amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen wishing you a fruitful day you've been listening to the gospel reflection for today from the congregation of the daughters of saint paul remember to listen reflect and live the word of god the best food ever for this world